Humanity has a strength that it has not yet realized, a strength that can offset the intervention. A strength that will give humanity a greater promise and a greater power in the universe. This is an unseen strength. It is a strength that once experienced becomes an essential force in directing one's life and in providing one's true power and security. This power is called knowledge in the universe. It is the power to see, to know and to act with clarity and certainty. It is a power that is beyond persuasion and manipulation from any foreign source or from any other source. It is a power that is given as a potential to each individual within the human family and beyond. In the greater community religion ultimately becomes the study and application of the way of knowledge. For this is what is most translatable in religion. Local customs, local teachers, Local history does not translate from one world to another. Only that which is essential in the study and the practice of the awareness of the Creator and the Creator's great endowment of knowledge to the individual is translatable. Only in worlds where individual freedom is valued and supported is knowledge a true emphasis and a true goal. Not only for the individual, but for the nation at large. That is why knowledge is feared and avoided in nations where there is no individual freedom. Because the power of knowledge can stimulate individual creativity, individual dissent and individual differentiation from the will and the direction of the group. It is this freedom and creativity that give your life its dynamic qualities, its power and its potency. This enables an individual to fulfill their destiny in the world. The cultivation of knowledge is rare in the universe because freedom is rare in the universe. The way of knowledge is studied in secret in many worlds and nations where freedom is discouraged or is not allowed. It is most potently expressed in free nations where it is seen as not only the avenue to personal fulfillment and contribution but also as the source of power in the mental environment a power that can be used to protect a free race from foreign intrusion and intervention. Humanity does not yet realize how much strength it truly has and the advantages that you have because your religions have been maintained and have not been replaced by belief and technology. They have not been completely subjugated to the political agendas of ruling nations. Though there has been much corruption, we understand the power and the presence of knowledge in humanity remains strong. And its potential for the future is greatly encouraging. If this knowledge were not present and were not accessible to human beings, then our message of warning, encouragement and hope would be of no purpose. We are speaking to this knowledge within you and within all human hearts. It is not ideas that we are presenting as much as the recognition of reality and the preparation that humanity must undergo to prepare for its future in the greater community. For your destiny is there. And your success and your failure will occur within the context of the greater community. Knowledge represents a deeper voice. It is how the Creator will speak to you to guide you, to protect you and to prepare you. It is completely free from interference, persuasion and manipulation. It represents the core of your strength and your most powerful asset. Any action you may take to preserve humanity's freedom would in the end prove to be unsuccessful if knowledge did not accompany it. This is one of the reasons again why the wise remain hidden. For they have the power and the presence of knowledge. The intervention does not know of this knowledge and does not use it. And therefore it represents your greatest strength. But the awareness of knowledge must be cultivated. The need for knowledge must be recognized. For your individual intellect cannot compete with the power of the group mind that exists in the greater community. Yet knowledge within you is immune from its influence and can see through its deceptions. 
the strength of your ideas and beliefs are weak compared to those that are held firmly by many minds in the greater community. But the power of knowledge is stronger. It cannot be turned. It cannot be betrayed. It cannot be altered by any power in the universe. Only the creator of all life can speak to it. And only to this does it listen. Knowledge within you is united with knowledge within others. So as knowledge becomes stronger in the human family, war and conflict will lose their appeal and attraction. As knowledge becomes stronger in the human family, offers of foreign technology and foreign governance will lose their appeal. To knowledge they will mean nothing. All those things that influence people to harm themselves, or to engage in activities that are not in their best interests, will lose their appeal in the face of knowledge. This deeper power, not all human beings need to find this power, but many do. Otherwise, the intervention will go unimpeded. The governments will hide what they know. Struggling within themselves in how to deal with this presence and its intentions. And the people of the world will remain self-obsessed and ignorant. Unaware of the greater threat to their future and their freedom. If enough people can become strong with knowledge and learn about the greater community. Then humanity will not succumb. It will resist the intervention and its resistance will demonstrate to the governors of trade and commerce that humanity is a self-determined race and does not will to be interfered with and controlled by foreign powers. This will give you strength and respect, which at this moment you do not have. The greatest gift that any other races can give you is their wisdom about life in the universe and their awareness of the power of knowledge. It is this non-technological power that will make all the difference in which path you take whether you will choose conflict and war within your world or cooperation and unity. Whether you will prepare for the greater community by recognizing the presence of the intervention and its threat or whether you will ignore them to focus on other things that you think to be important. And it is people's awareness of this inner power that will determine what path humanity will take in establishing human unity whether that be a path of oppression and submission or a path of consensus and awareness. It will determine what people see, what they know and what they do. This is how central knowledge is to your experience. And this is why it represents the greatest power in the universe. Those who are strong with knowledge of power in the mental environment, they cannot be seduced. And they cannot be induced by any force. They will value freedom. They will value strength. They will value unity and they will value purpose. Humanity does value these things. But not sufficiently regarding your emergence into the greater community and not sufficiently regarding the declining condition of your world. We know this because intervention has occurred in many places, even within our own worlds. Where we had to fight at and struggle to regain our freedom and to expel those forces that were attempting to guide us and to control us. Our histories are difficult and not without regret. Many of our kind were lost in the struggle for freedom because we did not pay heed to the warning in time and then had to face the very difficult task of overthrowing those who had established themselves as powers within our own respective worlds. That is why the Creator of all life has sent us to speak for the allies of humanity to advise humanity to warn humanity and to encourage humanity to recognize its great opportunities and the great dangers that lie ahead. To prepare accordingly and to seek the deeper power of knowledge which will provide for you the inspiration, the courage and the will to undertake the difficult change that must be established within the world.